Hello, my name is John Weiss and I'm a captain with Willard Fire and Rescue and we are continuing our Image Trend Elite Software video series. Today, we will be reviewing the apparatus checklist that we have implemented by using the iPads instead of paper checklist. To use your checklist, you will need to log in to Image Trend Elite web version. This is indicated with the orange border around the sign-in screen. On the iPads, your desktop, it will be a red icon for Image Trend Elite Web. Sign in with your username and password. Verify your certification expiration date and the privacy statement. Once you land on the dashboard, you will then go up to your switch to. This will show the last section or module that you were logged into. So click on the switch to. Over to the right column is your switch to column. Click on checklist. You will then have view existing checklist or create new on demand checklist. The on demand checklists are currently used for our monthly check sheets, our monthly mileage report, and the daily journal logs that are typically completed by the captain or lieutenant. For your daily and weekly apparatus checklist, you're going to click on the link for checklist. The window will open up and this will start to display all of your daily checklist. If this was our live version, you would see 911, 912, and 913 displayed. If this was a Wednesday, you would see the daily check sheets in addition to 910, 944, and 945. To start your check sheet, you can see here this is showing for 913. The status is showing that it's not started. It is a daily check for 913. Simply click the link and your check sheet opens up. In the upper left hand corner this is showing you basically the title or description of the checklist that you have opened. To the right side it's showing the checklist date and time that the checklist was started. You have an OK, a submit, and a cancel button. The OK button is also like a save button. Occasionally, you, again, you do need an internet connection, so occasionally you want to make sure that you're going back up as you're progressing through your checklist and click OK so that it will save your check sheet. It will take you back to the checklist screen, click your link, log back in, and continue where you left off. That way, if you lose internet connection, you're less likely to lose your entire checklist. The submit button is currently grayed out. To the right side, you will see that there are red bars with an exclamation point. That is indicating that the question or the options are required. So you must answer that question or section. Once all of the required fields have been completed, the submit will turn green. To submit your check sheet, once it is now active, you simply click on the submit button. It will lock your check sheet and then submit it into the cloud. On the left side of the screen, you have all of your different sections or topic areas. So this, you can see, is for date, the cab interior, engine compartment, the exterior. On the ambulances, the SS stands for street side, and the CS stands for curbside. On the right side, this basically shows all of your fields for the different sections. You can see by the darker gray banners, these are the sections that correlate to the left side here. On the fields that have a date, you can click the little calendar button and it auto fills today's date. You will have several of these, especially with medications. We can go through and enter our mileage. Fuel level, is it at three quarters or higher? If it's not, then you could say maybe this was half full. The mobile radio is on, set to the WFD main 911 channel, yes. You also notice that several questions have a little I. That means that there is additional information. So you can click on that and see it's telling you that all mobile radios are tuned to our main channel. Check for the radio for any damage or missing pieces. Also the same for the portable radios that are in the doors. They're there on channel one, they're working, not damaged or anything. 
All the gauges are working, sirens working properly, the garage doors there, the air horn works. The city horn, this is the horn that's in like your personal vehicle. So you may have to turn off an air, an air horn button to make sure that it works. The interior, is it clean and free from damage? Clean as needed. So if there's mud, dirt, dust, you know, on the floor inside the cab, make sure that kind of clean that up. Interior lights working properly, the parking brake uh, when set works properly, etc. We're going to jump down to the cardiac monitor section so that you can see here's the aspirin expiration date. So if we click the calendar button or the date button, that's going to put today's date in there. So you can just free type in there the date. So we'll say that the aspirin expires December 31st of this year. And then we're going to say the nitroglycerin. If we looked at the nitroglycerin and it just says 06 of 2022, you'll enter the last day of that month. So that 06 of 2022 is going to become June 30th of 2022. Then at the bottom, patient compartment, it goes through again, asking more about the interior. Are the trash cans less than half full? You know, empty them. If they're, you know, getting full, are all items and equipment stowed in the proper places so that they're secured on the cot in case of a crash, et cetera, that they're not bouncing around in the back? Is the floor clean? Are the sharps containers, uh, are the fill level below the fill line or if they're full? Make sure that they get discarded by placing them in the soiled utility room at the hospital. Then at the very bottom, any issues that you might have. So one of the check sheets that was submitted today actually had um, indicated no Morgan lens and no blood tube in the blue bag. So these items um, should be corrected. If not, we will get those corrected. Then you're typing in your name and then basically you're going to sign your check sheet with your attestation that you did a thorough ambulance check and everything's there that should be or if not you've noted it on the sheet again once you've completed everything the submit will turn green so that you can submit it and then once it's submitted it goes into the cloud and we also have email if need be. So you can see it shows your entire checklist and then also at the bottom any comments that you enter are available. If you have any questions please make sure that you contact your captain or lieutenant or contact myself and we will all be more than happy to help you. Thank you.